I'm Natalie with MoveSpring. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to create custom milestones in the custom racetrack creator. First off, let's start with the basics. What is a milestone? Milestones are checkpoints placed along your virtual race path. When a participant or group reaches a milestone, they'll unlock content related to your virtual racetrack theme. Each milestone features a title and image with options to add a description, embed a video, and include a company logo. When you customize your own milestones, you'll also be able to choose each milestone's placement along the map path that you've selected. There are two scenarios in which you'd want to use the Racetrack Creator to customize milestones. The first is if you're using a MoveSpring map with your own custom milestones as selected here. The second is if you're customizing both your own map and milestones by selecting the second option here. You don't always have to create milestones for your custom racetrack. If you're customizing your own map, milestones are optional and you can turn them on and off by clicking this toggle. Similarly, if you want to use a MoveSpring map with the default milestones or with milestones turned off, you can set that up from challenge creation instead of using the Racetrack Creator. Now, if you're ready to customize your milestones, let's head on over to the Custom Racetrack Creator where we've already got a custom racetrack with a custom map saved and ready to go. To get started on our milestones, we'll first want to select the edit button within the Your Milestone section here. Next, you'll select the green Add Milestone button to get started on your very first milestone. You may notice that we need to enter a milestone location first. Each milestone location will need to be entered as a percentage between 1 and 99. This means if I set a challenge goal of 100 miles, for example, and I place my first milestone at 10%, the milestone will appear at the 10 mile mark. If you're planning to include one milestone per map scene, we suggest dividing 100 by the number of map scenes that you've uploaded to help determine where you'll want your milestones to go. For this racetrack, we'll divide 100 by 3 to get 33. This means I'm going to need to place my first milestone somewhere between 1 and 33 percent, my second milestone between 34 and 66 percent, and my final milestone between 67 and 99 percent. Let's start out by trying 15 percent and see how that looks. I think I'm going to adjust this a bit to 17% since I think that will look a bit nicer. From here, I'll enter a milestone title at 45 characters max. Next, I'll be required to choose a milestone image by clicking the blue Upload Image button here. Each milestone image appears in the app at 750 pixels wide by 460 pixels tall and should be uploaded as a JPEG or PNG file. If an image isn't at those exact dimensions, you can crop it to this size before uploading it to the Racetrack Creator like I've just done here. Next, 
You may want to include some optional text for your milestone body at 4,000 characters max. I've decided to include a brief description on Portland. Next, you'll see the option to include a video link by checking this box here. I'm going to include a link from YouTube showcasing the 10 best things to do in Portland. Finally, you can also include a company logo by checking the box here. If you're ready, you can select the Preview Milestone button to see how your milestone will look in the app. Once you're happy with this preview and you're ready to move on to another milestone, you'll want to close your preview here and then select the blue Save Milestone button. Repeat this process by clicking the green Add Milestone button for each subsequent milestone. Please note that you must have at minimum one milestone and at maximum 20 milestones. For my current map here, I'm going to include two additional milestones highlighting Chicago and Austin. So I'll add those in and we'll catch back up to you once I'm finished. I've just finished uploading my three milestones. From this point, you can quickly preview any milestone from this Your Milestones panel by selecting the preview icon. If you need to make edits to your milestone, you can click anywhere on the milestone here to edit. Just remember to save your milestone when you're finished. Finally, you can delete a milestone you no longer want by selecting the trash can icon here. Before your milestone gets removed, you will see a warning that asks you to confirm if you want to delete the milestone from your map. Click yes to delete if you want to remove this milestone. Please note, once deleted, the other milestone numbers will adjust accordingly. For example, if you delete milestone five out of seven, then milestone six becomes five, milestone seven becomes six, and so on. Once you've completed all of your milestones, select the blue Done button. If you're happy with your racetrack and you're ready to use it in a challenge, you can select the green Publish button to set your racetrack live. Otherwise, you can always save and come back at a later time by clicking the Save as Draft button. For this racetrack, I'm ready to use it in a challenge, so I'll select the green Publish button to set my racetrack live. I can now see a message that my racetrack is live and ready to use. Just select the blue Create Challenge button to return to the Admin Center where you can create a new challenge with your racetrack. During challenge creation, select the Virtual Race or Group Virtual Race Challenge mode and choose your new racetrack from the options that appear. When your challenge starts, you'll be able to see your selected map and milestone options. We hope that this video helped you to create your own custom milestones. If you have any additional questions, please visit help.movespring.com. And from all of us here at Movespring, happy stepping.